So on Wednesday last week, I asked you guys, uh, as you got into class, to tell me what you thought was more important, value or cost. Now this was related to the discussion we had the day before where we were talking about profit is value minus cost, and profit rate, of course, is value minus cost divided by time. And so as, as I went through the cards that you gave me, 50 of you thought that value was more important Nine of you thought that cost was more important, and eight of you thought that it was either equal or it was hard to judge because, again, it was profit and profit rate that we were trying to maximize from our previous discussion. So, so this was really great, and it was, it was actually interesting to me that, um, that so many people chose value. It was especially interesting as we led into the, uh, the lecture topic of lean manufacturing and, and it came th clear to me uh, something that I a thought that I'd never really had while we were having that in-class discussion on Wednesday. Um, that uh, although we tend to realize that value is, is maybe more important than cost, and I, you know, I've seen this, this bear out in past year's uh, surveys, we tend to think that value is more important than cost. For example, if there is no value, you can't sell it, and it really doesn't matter what the cost is, you're gonna go bankrupt. Um, but uh, the tools that we tend to look at when we study lean manufacturing tend to primarily be about reduction in waste and reduction in cost. And, uh, and I got to wondering that if you could maintain the same cost and drive the value up, that might be a better solution than maintaining the same value and trying to drive the cost down. Although companies out there, they tend to spend all their time driving down costs and much less of their time trying to improve the value. Now, I, I think it's, and it came out in our discussion, cost is the easier target to go after because it's sort of a known quantity, but uh, there is going to be some minimum cost for any manufacturing process, and you're never actually going to get to that minimum. You're going to approach it asymptotically as you come in. So, uh, so I really love that discussion that we had on Wednesday about value and cost and, and about the lead manufacturing tools. Um, the other question that I asked you as we, uh, as we came into the class was uh, what did you do to get prepared for, uh, for the class? Now I mentioned in a previous video that, uh, that I've been preparing for these classes for the past 44, 45-ish years. Um, and you know, that, that's a sort of a flippant thing to say, but, but in reality, all of the things that has happened to me in my life have brought me to this moment. And so, so that is in part my preparation. But, um, but I spend at least two or three hours getting ready for each of these lectures, reviewing what I did the uh, previous times that I've given that lecture, reviewing the slides, and, uh, and sort of getting myself ready to, um, to, to give that class. One of, the, one of the things that I do is um, every day I create a haiku. And, uh, and I create a haiku about the topic of the, uh, of the lecture. Now, I don't, um, I don't always publish those haikus, but I, I do create them. And, uh, and it's just that process of thinking about it and trying to get the most important 17 words on that topic that helps get me focused on the lecture topic. Uh, one of the things we're going to talk about uh, next week in class is... Uh, is process variables in uh, in manufacturing processes, and, and I do have a haiku. It's not the one that that I will create on the day that we do that lecture because you know this one was previously created. But I do have a, a, a haiku that's really fitting on that topic, uh, and it's uh, feed, speed, depth of cut, guessing, not recommended, carbide, explosion. And so we get a haiku five seven five, and uh, and so that one was actually uh, developed by Comedia. We uh, we came up with it at a hotel room, in uh, in Florida while we were at a meeting learning how to uh, to better use the CAM software. Here is a group of us sat down and came up with that one. But uh, that's one of my favorite uh, manufacturing haikus that I've ever ever authored or co-authored, I suppose. But um, what did you guys do to get ready for lecture on Wednesday last week? I worked on lessons, I looked at the machining tables to get an understanding. I reviewed the website, board, and assignments. I woke up, took a shower, looked in the mirror, put my uh, game face on, and then I walked to Washburn. I woke up, ate a healthy breakfast. I woke up. Notebook, pen, pencil, woke up, homework, something. Watch video. Uh, be awake and be ready for class to start. 
For, to prepare for this lecture, I looked over previous notes and read for, wow, you guys are on the ball. I love the beginning of A term, everybody pays attention. I got dressed, showered, looked up uh, something, changed for glass. Got ready for this lecture by checking the website. I reviewed the homework, finished over the weekend. I woke up and almost checked and almost checked the room something. Ah, I woke up and I almost checked the room number. That's because they want to make sure they went to the right class. Uh, I did the immersive module in the lab. To get ready for this lecture, I completed my CAM assignments, watched videos, chap read chapter one of the Lean Thinking book and brought pen and paper. Uh, what did you do to get ready for this class? I read chapter one in the Lean Thinking book. I also printed the PowerPoint so I could follow in class. I watched the videos. I prepared my homework. I did the homework, checked the reading online. I completed the homework and reading online. Finalized my CAM tutorial. I got a good night's sleep, and that's important by the way. Got a good night's sleep, completed all the online assignments and the reading. I got ready for this lecture, I had breakfast, I got dressed, I brought my notebook and pencil with me, prepared to work on, prepared with working on camp, oh, this is a nice handwriting, prepared by looking at the camp stuff, uh, set up folders in a notebook, tried to register for class again, that's, hope you got in the class. I read the chapter about lean manufacturing, I watched the most recent video and I read the first chapter about lean manufacturing, I read that thing you sent us. Uh, I printed off the PowerPoint for the course website so I could see what we we're going to go over. Absolutely nothing. Somebody that was honest. Uh, I got ready for this lecture. I did the. I read your blog and I reviewed the lab. I got ready for this lecture by reading the thing. Uh, I checked the M800 website for updates. I did the week zero quiz and survey. I also did the CAM lessons. I did the CAM homework. I checked the websites and attended the help for CAM. I did not do anything. I did the first chapter of the book, not much. I read the syllabus, I read the first chapter, I got dressed, I ate, I made the same, I made something. I looked over my notes, I watched the video, I watched the YouTube video, I watched, I looked at the provided website, I read chapter one, I completed lessons one, two, three, I talked to Professor Bergstrom, I went to the lab, I bought my name tag thing, brought my name tag thing and I showed up. I got lunch. Lunch. Don't we have a lecture before lunch? I read chapter one. Uh, I did the expected reading. Uh, I read chapter one. I read uh, improving production with lean thinking. Not the whole book, I assume. I finished getting started cam and I brought a pencil and paper for notes. I began reading the article on lean manufacturing, but unfortunately I did not finish. I woke up drank some water, forgot to check the site for what was due. Reviewed the last lecture, looked at my WPI, got set, ate breakfast, did a couple push-ups, good. I took the CAM lessons, got ready for the class, I finished CAM 3, I did the reading, I showed up, I checked online, uh, I brushed my teeth, good idea, got some soda, really, brushed my teeth and then got some soda, did skip the soda. Uh, I went to class, checked online. Anyway, um, thank you very much. I want you to just think about uh, what you're doing as you're getting ready for class. Think about what we're doing in class as you get there. And, uh, and you know, it was really great last week. You all seem to be um, willing to participate in an interactive discussion. And that's really my goal. I can, uh, I can stand up there and I can lecture for hour on hour on hour on any number of these topics. Um, but if it's just me talking at you, and it's just me doing a series of PowerPoint slides, slide after slide after slide after slide, I know from experience that you will be asleep. And those of you that are awake, you won't get anything from it. So um, please try to keep me on track if I, uh, if I get too far afield with a, uh, with a story or something that I'm talking about, you know, push me right back. But, um, we're going to try to have some very interactive discussions in class. I, I really appreciated you guys' activity and energy level last week, and let's hope that we can keep it going for five more weeks.